Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Well, we've been talking about these icon sets all week, and I want to show you a really cool trick here. I'd like to apply the icon set only to the people that are failing. I only want the red X. Everyone else, I don't want any icon at all. I only want to highlight the, the bad records. So I'm going to choose that whole set, and we're going to go into conditional formatting, and I'm going to create a new rule. I'm going to say I want to highlight everything greater than 70 and We'll do custom format, and in custom format, I'm going to choose nothing. I, I don't want to do anything at all. So we click OK, and then click OK. Now we're going to go in and manage rules, conditional formatting, manage rules, and I'm going to go to that one here, the cell value greater than 70, no format set, and then I'm going to say stop if true. So what does that do? It says, hey, if the value is greater than 70, don't do anything. We don't want to apply any format, and oh, by the way, don't apply any additional rules. And the effect here is that when we click OK, only the people that are less than 70 actually get the icon. So it's a great way to really tweak that icon set and only apply the icon to the things that are very low or very high at the extremes, and everything else doesn't get the icon. This really allows it to stand out much, much better, in my opinion. So a cool trick there, setting up a second rule and using this brand new concept of stop if true in the rules manager. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.